The rise of Missouri football has really been out of nowhere. Last season, Missouri finished the season with an 11-2 record and they beat Ohio State in the Cotton Bowl. The last time Missouri won double-digit games was back in 2014, back when Missouri was still in the Gary Pinkle era. But once Gary Pinkle retired, we hadn't seen the same amount of success for Missouri football in quite a while. They had a couple solid seasons where they made a bowl game and won 7 or 8 games, but they were never a top contender in the SEC, and they were kind of a forgotten about team of the SEC. We kind of expected the same thing from Missouri in 2023 as their win total was only set at 6.5 for Eli Drinkwitz's fourth season coaching at Missouri. And not too many people were expecting a great season for Missouri football in 2023. But let me tell you, this Missouri team completely overexceeded expectations, and they were definitely one of the most surprising teams of the 2023 college football season. Eli Drinkwitz was struggling to make progress with this team the prior seasons because they couldn't even win a bowl game. And we saw the same season for them basically three seasons in a row with Eli Drinkwitz as the head coach for Missouri. They went 5-5 five and five in 2020, and they went 6-7 in 2021 and 2022. And like I said, an 11-2 record for Missouri football really came out of nowhere for this team. We really didn't know what to expect from Eli Drinkwitz last season. He had only started his coaching career at App State in 2019, which was actually one of the most successful seasons for App State in recent memory because they actually finished with a 12-2 record and won their conference. But quickly after coaching one season at App State, he took the head coaching job for Missouri. And Eli Drinkwitz had been jumping around coaching jobs since 2005. And he really never stayed put anywhere. But as we head into the 2024 college football season, I think it is certain that Eli Drinkwitz is committed to this Missouri football program. And he finally found a place that he might stay long term at. He will be heading into his fifth season as a head coach at Missouri. And this team has their win total set at 9.5. And, and this team has very high expectations heading into the 2024 college football season. So today I wanted to talk about the future of Missouri football heading into the new era of college football. But before we continue on with this video, let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you will love this channel because we upload daily college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing. And also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get back into this video. And next season, Missouri will return 79% of offensive production, which is actually top 16 in the country. The big piece on that offensive side of the ball that they will not be returning next season is running back Cody Schrader, who ran for 1,627 yards and 14 touchdowns in 2023. He was a big piece to that offense, and replacing Cody Schrader will be huge for this Missouri team, because Cody Schrader was one of the best running backs in the whole country last season. I do not know if they will be able to rely on an elite rushing attack again, but they picked up two running backs from smaller schools out of the transfer portal, they picked up Nate Knoll from Appalachian State who ran for 834 yards last season. And they also picked up Marcus Carroll who could actually be a great replacement for Cody Schrader because he ran for 1,350 yards and 13 touchdowns last season for Georgia State. And he was also a first team Sunbelt Conference running back and you'd have to believe Missouri will still have a decent rushing attack even after losing Cody Schrader. And they will have two running backs who could be solid and get the job done for this Missouri team. And I think Marcus Carroll could possibly be a beast at running back. But even if they don't have a great rushing attack, let's not forget you have quarterback Brady Cook returning. Brady Cook continues to elevate his game every season. And last season, he threw for 3,317 yards, 21 touchdowns for only 6 interceptions with a completion percentage of 66.1. And he will only keep getting better and he will definitely be better next season. Brady Cook knows that he has the ability to play high level football and going into next season, he will have the receiving court to back him up. Missouri returns one of the best receivers in the country, Luther Burden. He was a guy who had a breakout season in 2023 only as a sophomore and now you return him and this offense is really shaping up to be a scary offense. Luther Burden had 1,212 receiving yards and 9 touchdown catches last season. He was top 10 in receiving yards in the country last season and he will probably be in the top 5 or the top 3 in receiving yards next season. I know that everyone likes to give Luther Burden all the attention that he deserves but let's also not forget that they returned Theo Weiss Jr. who was the number 2 receiver for this team last season. And they also returned their 3rd best receiver Mookie Cooper. Look I'm not calling my shot or anything but Brady Cook honestly isn't getting a lot of attention for his chances at winning the Heisman Trophy. What happens if he takes that next step up and this Missouri passing attack gets even more dangerous without Cody Strader at running back? Maybe at the very least Brady Cook is a dark horse to be a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. And like I said, I'm not calling my shot, but this Missouri team has the tools necessary and you never know what could happen in college football. Now let's kind of wrap up the offensive preview by looking at the offensive line. And last season, Missouri had an offensive line that was able to play SEC football 
and that offensive line was impressive. Now they add offensive tackle from Oklahoma, Caden Green, who could be a big impact player on that offensive line. He's a four-star addition to the team, and he was the second highest rated offensive lineman in the transfer portal. Missouri had an offensive line that was a finalist for the Joe Moore Award in 2023. And I know they lose a couple pieces on that offensive line with Javon Foster and Xavier Delgado leaving, but Caden Green was a huge pickup. And all around, this could be a very good offensive line again. And this offense as a whole could be one of the best in the SEC. And I cannot wait to see what this offense could do in 2024. But the defense is the concern heading into 2024. It might not be a big concern, but if there's any concern for this team, then it is probably the defense. The departure of Blake Baker is going to be interesting for this team. But coordinators come and go all the time. And now Eli Drinkwitz will have to find a way to adapt and prove that he is a great head coach because the defense is also 68 in the country for return in production, and they only return 58% of production. Luckily, the defense is coming off a pretty solid season. They were top four in the SEC for average yards per game given up, and they only gave up 22.3 points a game, which was very solid. They had a very aggressive defense with Blake Baker, and I'm interested to see how they will adapt in 2024 with new defensive coordinator Corey Batoon. Five of Missouri's defensive starters have participated in the combine and will not be playing for this team next season. And I know the defense loses a decent amount of production, but they do return Christian Williams at defensive tackle, and he will be a big player to have back for that Missouri defense. And the new transfer portal additions, Chris McLennan and Sterling Webb, will be huge for this defensive line. So I expect this team to be pretty tough at the line of scrimmage. And they also recruited one of the top defensive ends, Williams Nonary, who is a five-star, and he could make a big impact right away on the edge. And they also bring back Johnny Walker Jr. and brought in edge rushers Darius Smith from Georgia and Zion Young from Michigan State. This defensive line could be a force to be reckoned with in 2024. They could possibly move someone on the edge up to linebacker, but right now the projected starters at linebacker are most likely Chuck Hicks and Tristan Newsom. Transfer portal linebacker addition Corey Flagg from Miami could get in that conversation as well, and we will see how they look in the linebacker room in 2024, but they should have a solid group there. And lastly, in the secondary, they will have Dre Norwood returning, who is probably ready to take that next step in 2024. And then four-star transfer cornerback Toriana Pride from Clemson will be a huge addition in the secondary for this Missouri team. And then at safety, I'm pretty certain that returning safety is Joseph Carliston and Dalen Carnell will be playing a huge role at safety. There are going to be a lot of new look faces on that defense and I don't know what to expect. But I am definitely excited to see if the defense is good enough to compete with the top teams in the SEC. Losing defensive coordinator Blake Baker could hurt but I expect this defense to be solid again. And they will adapt because I do believe this defense has the talent to be very good. And I guess I also forgot to mention on the offensive side, they recruited a highly rated four-star receiver, Courtney Crutchfield. And I do not know how he will fit in that receiving room because the receiving room is stacked. But maybe he redshirts, but maybe he's a playmaker to watch out for. And maybe he gets a couple reps next season. But I figured I would mention that because he was Missouri's second highest rated recruit of the 2024 class. And Eli Drinkwitz is using the transfer portal and recruiting at a pretty high level for this Missouri team. Eli Drinkwitz has not got involved in the 2025 recruiting cycle yet, oddly enough. But I think the future of Missouri football is in good hands with Eli Drinkwitz leading the way. And Missouri is honestly set up perfectly for 2024. They have a very easy schedule that could honestly set them up for them to play in the SEC championship game. And I would not be surprised. I'm not predicting their schedule, but just looking at the schedule, you would have to say that it will make the path easier for Missouri in 2024 because they have an easy schedule. And the only big games that they would have to worry about are at home against Oklahoma and on the road against Alabama and Texas A&M. Don't get me wrong, there are some decent opponents on the schedule, but they will be favorites in just about every game next season. And I'm excited to see what this team can do in 2024. But anyways, that is going to do it for the video. Let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you will love this channel because we upload daily college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing and also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But that is going to do it, guys, and peace out.